If you were drafting these guys, the top five, your top five quarterbacks drafted in the last three years. Greeny, I'll start with number five. I'm going to go Lamar Jackson. Obviously, Lamar Jackson coming off of his MVP season proved to us that he is way more than just the runner that some people thought he was. He's actually a very good thrower of the football, one of the better throwers from the pocket last year. I would draft Lamar at number five. Number four, I would go Tua Tungavailo. I think it's been well documented how good of a player I think Tua is going to be. If Miami handles him the right way, he should be one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL for the next 10 plus years. Number three, Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray was remarkable last year. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Threw for like 3,700 yards, 20 touchdowns, a QBR of 88, 65 plus uh, percentage on your pat on your completion percentage, and he's only got more weapons this year. Number two. I would go Joe Burrow, the first pick of this year's draft. I mean, obviously, Joe Burrow being so instinctual and reactionary, such poise and patience in the pocket, sees the field so well. I've, I've said he's going to be a bona fide rock star. And I would still take old Sam Darnold number one. And this is why. Everything that I talk about when it comes to Joe Burrow, the accuracy, the anticipation, creativity, instincts, reactions, all that stuff, Sam Darnold has. He just does it with a stronger arm. And so that's why building for the future, this is a draft for the future I take Sam Darnold number one still oh, keep talking uh, you're doing great I'm 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 just thoroughly delighted by all of this uh, against my better judgment they're telling me I need to they, I need to bring I, I, in Dominique I'm, to disagree with you I don't want I don't want any part of that yeah, I, I, all right Nick so let, let's Go ahead. Why, why don't you? I'm just sitting here basking I, in the glow. Go ahead, Nate. You don't need me to disagree. Everyone at home is yelling at their screen and throwing things. This is absurd. Like, Dan, let me be honest with you. Greeny likes you. He'll be your friend even if you don't come on TV and make up lies. Somehow Sam Darnold, and you're basing, is there some fine print to this? Like, what are you basing this off of? You aren't basing it off of production within the NFL. You aren't basing it off of college career. You're basing it off of wanting Greeny to be your buddy. He'll take you to dinner without you kissing up to him. Can I mute Neek just out of I'm curiosity? Gonna, I don't have the Tony this. Reale function. Gonna, let, let, let's talk I'm for a minute here. This. About, let, 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 go ahead, Dan. Hold on a second. Let, let, let's talk about what we're actually doing. We're not talking about what they've been. We're talking about how you would draft them and how you would thus project them. So what is it you like so much about Darnold? Uh, everything. I mean, I've talked about his ability to make these throws when his feet aren't set, and he's got this creativity with his arm. It's it's kind of, and I've talked with Daniel Jeremiah about this, it's it's kind of like in the NBA, there's scorers and there's shooters. This guy is a scorer. He can create his own type of shot, get to the rim whenever he wants. Um, his athleticism, everything that we talked about with Joe Burrow and his athleticism and his creativity, Sam Darnold has. He's got a stronger arm, and so it's this projection. Dom, I knew you were going to come on here. And I knew you were going to say what you were going to say, and I knew you were going to say, and ask me how I can uh, say Sam Darnold's number one. And this is why. Last year, in the midst of a new head coach for the second one in two years, and a new general manager, and a new offense, he was 7-6 and six as their starting quarterback with his illness that he dealt with last year. Last year, you know who had the worst pass-blocking offensive line in football? Sam Darnold. You know who had the worst run-blocking offensive line in football? The New York Jets. So you're talking about a quarterback that has to do it on his own. He's 7 and six last year has a good season when his second leading receiver outside of Crowder is a tailback. So you mean to tell me that if Sam Darnold is on a team that has more weapons, he's not going to light it up? That's why he's number one. Joe Burrow is going to be a rock star in the NFL. Everything that you want at the quarterback spot, that's why he's at two. They're very close. Lamar Jackson was the MVP of the league. He had an historically great season, and you have him fifth. Why? And you could make all those, ex those excuses you made for Sam Darnold. You could make for Lamar Jackson. He didn't have the receiver that he needed necessarily. Go ahead. Explain why. Why is he fifth? No, okay. Again, this is a thing for the next 10 years, and this is my only caveat. I've got two things with Lamar. As great as Lamar is, and I was one of the people who said he was going to be great. Um, you, once you go all in like the Ravens did with Lamar, it minimizes your roster flexibility in some ways. Like, you have to have very specific linemen. You have to have specific skill players. You have to have Man. a very specific oh. backup quarterback that does the same type of things. Wait, Dom. So that does, it makes it hard on an organization, I would imagine. And two, 
too, if anything that we've learned about the quarterback spot over the last year, it's those hits add up. We saw it with Luck, and we saw it with Cam Newton. And so, you know, Lamar is taken just running the football over 300 hits in his first two years. So, so I, don't I get disagree concerned with that you. it will add up and become a, a conversation in five or six years. Go ahead, Nate. I don't disagree with you that having Lamar is a little bit of a risk because he takes some hits, but throwing the ball to the other team is also a risk, which Sam Darnold does. And I would disagree with you by saying that because you have, you're looking for a unique set of players, that somehow that's a disadvantage. You are not in a competitive negotiating market if you are the only type of the only team looking for this type of player. That is actually an advantage. If you are the only team that's looking for a certain type of player, you have the leverage to negotiate lower contracts and build a better team. That is an advantage. If you are the only team that is running the ball and playing the playing football in a certain type of way and teams don't prepare for you, that is an advantage. Saying that like that's some sort of disadvantage makes no sense to me. The only criticism of Lamar is you've yet to see him be able to kind of come back in late situations, but he's only in his second season. He's just coming off his second season. And somehow Sam Darnold is ahead of him? Stop it. I will not stand for that. Hold on. I'm told Jalen Rose is Jalen Rose is coming up next, and I'm told he's freaking out. Uh, uh, by the way, go ahead, Jalen. Go. Come on, Jay. M maybe we did hit the mute button on Jalen. Uh, let's see if we can get Jalen's audio on. Let's test, again, test, Jaylen. test, test, test. Go. Dan, did I just hear you say that Tua was going to be one of the top three quarterbacks in the in this draft, the last three drafts over the next 10 years, but you said my Detroit Lions shouldn't take him? <laughs> <laughs> is, did did yeah, I just hear that? Uh, you, you heard me. You heard me. Okay, accurate. so why isn't he on this accurate, list, Jaylen, number one? And that was the hold, right hold, pick. Hold on. Hold, hold, hold on. You know how much I love you. Number two, first off, we is not about to let Kyler Murray, who I love, who just got Hopkins, and Tua, who should redshirt this year, and for some reason every team wants to get a quarterback because it's a, a backup quarterback, is kind of important in the NFL. Ask the Green Bay Packers, ask the Philadelphia Eagles, but for some reason the Lions can't get one. When did all of these guys leapfrog Lamar Jackson? Okay, I he is that deal. I, I have to leave it there because Jalen, we have to Sam Darnold. Jay. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.